when we do faculty hiring, we're quite conscious that diversity is important to us. And we say diversity is important, it's fine to say that. But I'm very careful when we have a faculty appointments committee meeting. Anytime somebody says, you know, we should really prefer this candidate or this candidate because this person would add diversity, don't say that. You can think it, you can vote it, but our discussions are not privileged. So don't ever articulate that that's what you're doing. Well, this Tuesday, there is a great opportunity for people of color looking for a job. 25 top employers from our community will be at the People of Color Career Fair looking to hire from the communities of color. When I started business, one of the things you'll find, there are other sub operators out there, but they, they typically um, have uh, gentlemen who are ex-military submariners and they, you'll see a whole bunch of 50 year old white guys. Um, I wanted our team to be younger, to be inspirational, and I'm not going to inspire a 16-year-old to, to go pursue marine technology, but a 25-year-old uh, you know, who's a sub-pilot or a, a platform operator or one of our techs can be inspirational. At the Loeb Drama Center in Cambridge, those audiences learn how white men fought to create a nation without a single white man on stage. A special cast shaking up the classic musical 1776. The production at the American Repertory Theater in Cambridge has female, transgender, and non-binary actors telling the story of our founding fathers. And as WBZ's Paula Evans shows us, the goal is to shift perspective on on American history. Well, a message for all women looking for a career in law enforcement. The FBI wants you. There is a major push to recruit more women for the agency. The FBI has taken a pledge called 30 by 30. The goal to have women make up 30% of the recruit classes by the year 2030. The, the biggest hurdle is getting women through the door that are applicants. Traditionally, law enforcement has been a very male-dominated work position. I'm a woman of color. I am a mom. I am a cisgender millennial who's been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. I am intersectional, but my existence is not a box-checking exercise. I am a walking declaration, a woman whose inflection does not rise at the end of her sentences, suggesting that a question has been asked. I did not sneak into CIA. My employment was not and is not the result of a fluke or slip through the cracks. I earned my way in and I earned my way up the ranks of this organization. I refuse to internalize misguided patriarchal ideas of what a woman can or should be. I am tired of feeling like I'm supposed to apologize for the space I occupy rather than intoxicate people with my effort, my brilliance.